I don't need to talk about my history in sports. Anyone who knows me knows I've played football at a very high level. I've played football overseas. I've played in Spain. I've gone through injuries. I've gone through rehab. I actually had surgery on my feet two days ago, and I'm still on this show because of stuff I've gone through during football. I know what it's like going through injuries in sports. I know what it's like playing against professionals. I know what it's like playing at the highest level. I know what it's like playing overseas. I know what it's like in all these environments. I know. I just don't need to say those things because I let my words do the talking. I don't need to be like, oh, believe me, because I've been through this and that. No. What I say, if you believe what I say, is based on the stuff that I'm actually saying, not because of where I've been and what I've done. I asked you who are the killers in the NBA. You said Giannis. You said Steph. You said De'Aaron Fox. You said Jamal Murray. Then we asked about Jimmy Butler. You said he lost that because we can't have part-time killers. I'm saying based on that ideology and the fact that Jokic isn't a killer, even though he's gone out and won a championship, displayed at the highest level, Yanis, who we all think, if I ask Ox, Chill, Domo, all of us, we think Yanis is a killer. But by yes, this yes. part-time killer ideology, Yanis, who came up short in the postseason this year, shot terribly from the free throw line, Ran from the three free throw line late in games. Everyone remembers he nearly threw the ball out of bounds to run away from the free throw line. Shot one for nine in the fourth quarter. Shot three for nine from the free throw line in the fourth quarter in overtime. Lost the series to an eight seed. Last year in game seven, couldn't make wide open layups. His killer instinct should also be revoked by this. And this is why, okay, Ron, right, put us on the double screen, Ron, because I'm about to deep fry this boy. I'm about to take his ass and deep water. Hold on, hold on, Phil. Hold on, Phil. I'm about to take his ass and deep water to try him, chill. I'm about to take his ass and deep waters and drowning because he capping. This is the reason why you can't have little boys like this who've never been in the field talking basketball. Because once again, he's up here giving you guys buffoon stats. Again, this man was playing literally on one leg. The man had surgery in the all That's 2021. No, hold on, hold on. I'm going to say, uh-uh, no, I didn't interrupt you. I had, you're going to lie. You're going to lie. If you're willing to lie, I'm going to let you lie. I'm going to say it again. All that stuff you said about Giannis. All that stuff you said about Giannis missing layups, doing this, doing that, running from the free throw line again. That man could have copped out and not even came back to play. That injury he had, he had to have surgery after the season was over with. That was a serious injury. So what did he do? He still went out there and played. He still gave you a 36-point triple-double. He still gave you the 28-point game and a double-double, big-time double-double. And y'all still complain he did it on one damn leg, and he didn't cry about an injury. He really well, did I'm have surgery. So I don't want to hear – Hold on. And when you take that into, when you take that into equation – that this dude really did have surgery where he couldn't even play in the FIBA games because he had surgery. You have to take these things into equation when we're talking about performances. How can a dude be 100% of who he is when he's out here on one leg? So the fact that he did everything he did on one leg and then we're still saying, oh, well, you didn't go guard Jimmy Butler when he was cooking, what you call it, on one leg that he had to have surgery on when the season was over with? And we're gauging a dude's pain tolerance because he's saying, oh, well, maybe he can take it. But the man had surgery when the season was over. Come on, man. We ain't finna do that, bro. Okay. A small so thing to a giant. This easy know, work. The, okay, sur man, the, surg the surgery that Yanis had was a cleanup surgery where they looked at his knee they saw nothing was extremely problematic, but it could cause problems down the line. So he had the option to get a cleanup surgery that would just minimize the risk of anything happening further down the line. He wasn't playing on one leg. His leg was fine. They just examined his knee. So there was some tissue that could cause a problem and they cleaned it up for him. And that's why he didn't play in fever. His back was hurt against the Miami Heat. That's what actually was hurting. That doesn't explain not being able to make free throws. That doesn't explain running from the free throw line. That doesn't explain any of that. 2022, when he was healthy, he was missing wide open layups in game seven. That doesn't explain any of that. 2021, the reason why all of us think Giannis is a killer is because he played through that injury, came back from an injury where no one thought he could actually play. And that's why no one is questioning his killer instinct. But by the fact that you're questioning Jimmy Butler when he had an ankle problem in the playoffs, the fact that you question Joel Embiid when he's been injured in every single postseason he's ever been in and has played through every single one, but you question him because he doesn't live up to the standards. I didn't question him. I didn't say anything about him. All you've done since Joel Embiid's lost is, oh, here's the MVP stats. Go no, down I in the he fell off in the he playoffs. He a, he, he's played with a sprained LCL. He's played with a torn meniscus. He's played with a broken face. He's played with a messed up thumb. And I did not, I hold on. The man missed the playoffs because of a cold, bro. Cut it out. You don't bring up the fact that Joel Embiid was hurt in the postseason. You just bring up the fact that his stats went down. 
you've not once mentioned the fact he had a sprained OCL and still played against Boston, still went to seven games and gave everything he had on that floor. You don't bring that up. But when it's Yanis, you want to bring up the fact that he was hurt, had a cleanup surgery and act like he played on one leg. Joel Embiid has actually played on one leg in two of the last three postseasons. And I haven't heard a word out of you when he averaged 30 against the Atlanta Hawks and played that on a torn meniscus. I didn't hear a word about how Joel Embiid played. All I've heard is that he doesn't show up in the playoffs. We all think, once again, I'm going to keep saying it until you listen. We all think Yanis is a killer. Every single one of us. But when you say part-time killers don't count, Yanis would have to be a part-time killer. There's no such thing as a full-time killer who runs from the free-throw line late in games, who shoots one for nine in the fourth quarter, who is meant to be a defensive player of the year and doesn't take the matchup of the best perimeter player on the other team, especially when he's also a wing, not a guard. There's no such thing as that happening. How many laps do you ran? Part-time you killers, with me shooting the jail? How many laps do you ran? How many suicides have you done? No. And how many shots have you taken? How many times have you been out there on the floor and got elbowed in the four quarters? How many injuries have you got? How many injuries have you got during the season? How many injuries have you gotten during the season that could have ended your career? How many injuries you got in the season that could have ended your season? How many points have you ever had? That boy good. How many points have you ever had? That boy good. That boy good. That boy good. It's easy to sit behind the computer your whole life. It's easy to sit behind the computer your whole little punk ass life. You're getting cooked and now you have to put out the field, boy. You ain't never been out the field, boy. You never been out the field, boy. Like I said, you know what I'm talking about. You don't talk different, boy. Get out there in the field, you don't talk different. You don't know nothing about boy. basketball. You and the real G's are laughing, boy. But the you can't real G's are laughing, boy. boy. You can't real do. pro you basketball can't players laugh and talk you like you. You've never been out there basketball. in the field. You've you never been out there in the field, but you talk like that. You heard what I said. You heard what I said, boy. You heard what I said, boy. You can't run five laps right now if I ask you. You can't run five suicides right now if I ask you. You don't match what I'm doing. You talk about me, but you don't match what I'm doing. You are a computer nerd. That's all you are. Right, look, what? Here. Hey, Rod, come on, man. What are you doing? Don't put him out. Let him cook. Don't put him out. Let him cook. Don't put him out. I don't want to know what you're doing. Why do you talk about Mars? Look, look. Yeah, why are you talking about Mars? Y'all relax. Y'all stop yelling over each other. Let each other talk. Time them both out. All right. That's fair. When you go back and listen to it on YouTube, all you hear is rah, 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 rah. That's true. Have a civilized debate. If you get shot and run at a cop, let him cook, man. Let him run. Let him cook, man. Everybody, they love it. Let him cook. Let him run. Let him cook. Run. Let him cook. That man talking his talk. Hey, run. That man talking his talk. Run. But my whole point is this: it's easy for him to say stuff when he ain't never felt it and never been out there in the moments. When you've been in this your whole life, and like dude in the chat room said, oh, ticket, like mofos, like tickets be talking. Nigga, I've been doing this shit my whole life. Guys like Chill Town, we grew up doing this our whole life. You can't tell us a difference from being behind a computer to actually being out there on the court. It's easy for us to talk about a mofo who really did have injuries versus a nigga who missed a game because of cold. Jo Joel and B missed a playoff game, and that's why I came off him, because he had a tummy ache, nigga. When the season, when the series was on the line, chill time, remember that? That wasn't no injury. He missed it because he had a tummy ache, and they ended up losing that series because they lost that game. So like I said before, when you're dealing with a guy like Giannis who been through the grind, who really went through injuries, who's came back multiple times even though they lost and tried to fight through the injuries when we saw him playing against Miami when he was younger, when he had the ankle injury and came through. Well, if you ain't never been through that and they never felt that, I don't want you can't talk about this and talk about that. Like I said, that's why I hate arguing with dudes who ain't never been out in the field, bro, because they don't understand how it go, period. Yo, Mars, are you going to drop a recipe book with what you just cooked? Because that shit was crazy. Uh, well, no, you no. gonna eat all of it? You gonna you gonna eat the whole plate? No, I'm gonna get second and third. I'm gonna get second and third. You gonna straight the whole plate? I already know. By, by the way, MB MB did not miss a game against the Toronto Raptors. He played all seven games, even with his tummy ache. He played every single game. So that's for good. Yeah, that's once again a lie. But um, I want to ask Hold you. MB so, never missed a game in the playoffs due to he had a cold head and he had a sick game no, and he missed because the only the only the only series in which they were talking about his tummy ache was against Toronto. He played every single game. He just didn't play very well. But I want to ask, so you talk about you've been on the court, you see, you understand, blah, blah, blah. Is that different to like, if someone was like an NFL player, could they talk about what it's like to go through injuries in basketball or do you have to be a basketball player to understand? It? No, because it's a different type of situation. Meaning this, for example, so only basketball players can understand hold, 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 hold on, let me put this, Mars. Let, let, let me give you one example. I'm going to answer your question. Mm -hmm. I talked to Dub about this yesterday and I told Dub this, he'll tell you. I can't sit up here from a computer and tell Dub. Dub is a wrestler. He's been a real. He's been a wrestler in his life. 
I can do all the study and analyzing I want. I can't sit up here and tell Dub how he gonna feel going be, uh, going through these certain situations. I can't tell him that. I can't tell Dub that. La mujer, I, I can't tell Dub that. You understand what I'm saying? I gotta keep it a hundred, bro. I gotta stand. I gotta say, you know what, Dub? You've been out there in the field. It's certain things that you experience that you know that I can't talk about. But only on YouTube, only in this little cyber world, do we praise dudes who've never been in these type of situations that are tell dudes. So we'll sit out here and listen to guys like you, Brian Windhorst who will sit at a buffet all NBA day long. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go say it. Let's go say it. So hold on. I'm saying this. If you ain't never had a, a severe injury before and had to go do the rehab and had to go play through it, and had to play through it. Don't nobody want to hear that. Don't nobody want to hear all oh, this. That's because I have. I have been in situations where I have damn near tore my knee out and still had to go, go play. I have been in situations where I tore, where I had pulled my groin extremely to the point where it was almost torn, where I could barely walk and you had to play through it. You don't understand how that feels. So when you say this stuff about, oh, he gave the ball up, maybe he gave the ball up because he could barely even feel like he was trying to walk to even get to the free throw line and concentrate yeah, to shoot a free throw because all the pain he was going through. So all I'm but, saying is that when you go through those when you go through those situations, you, you have a different respect for that. When you do what we do every day, when you get on that line and you run them suicides like me and Chill Town and these guys did and Bobby and them guys did, goddamn, for 20, 30 years, when you do that shit your whole life, you have a different understanding and appreciation, bro. When you, when you out there being pushed and when you out there having to carry a team sometimes, like Giannis has had to do because the other teammates wasn't hitting shots, trying to go get 30 points, 10, 15 rebounds, 11, 12 assists. That's not easy to do. These dudes ain't robots. This ain't NBA 2K13. So what all I'm saying to you is that I praise a guy like Giannis because I seen him accomplish it and do it on the highest level. That's why I say he's a true killer. If you listen to what I say about true killers, these are guys who have done it and accomplish it on the highest level. That's why I praise Jamal Murray. That's why I praise guys like Kobe Bryant. That's why I praise guys like Michael Jeffrey Joy. That's why I praise Larry Joe Burke because they were true killers when in the biggest moments they delivered. Guys, if you talking about on here, they haven't. They always found a reason to fold or, or succumb under the circumstances. I've seen Isaiah Thomas achieve things under the highest level. So like I said before, these are the guys who are the real killers in the game. So like I said, man, unless you've been out there in the field, it's some shit you never understand, bro. You would never understand. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, you've never played an NBA playoff game, but here we are talking about NBA players in the playoffs. So you also can't but I grew that. up and played with NBA players yeah. my whole life. And, that, and that's, that's all I and, 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 and me, me personally, I don't need to talk about my history in sports. Anyone who knows me knows I've played football at a very high level. I've played football overseas. I've played in Spain. I've gone through injuries. I've gone through rehab. I actually had surgery on my feet two days ago, and I'm still on this show because of stuff I've gone through during football. I know what it's like going through injuries in sports. I know what it's like playing against professionals. I know what it's like playing at the highest level. I know what it's like playing overseas. I know what it's like in all these environments. I know. I just don't need to say those things because I let my words do the talking. I don't need to be like, oh, believe me, because I've been through this and that. No. What I say, if you believe what I say, is based on the stuff that I'm actually saying, not because of where I've been and what I've done. That's why I don't point to the stuff I've gone through in the history of sports. I am no one knows my age, no one knows where I've played, no one knows anything other than the people that know me. Let me ask you a question. So is Draymond wrong? Mark? I knew is Draymond he was Draymond dirty. Wrong? I knew he was I dirty. I don't need to bring to any of those things because what is people want to listen wrong? to is what I say, on, not because question. of who I am, but because is of what Draymond I actually say. That's why I don't point to those things. Is Draymond wrong when he slams media members and people who talk shit and never been through what he's been through? Is he wrong? But that's not about right. Or, he's allowed he to think. I'm not he's allowed, I'm and I'm, and I'm answering that. the question. I'm answering the question. He's allowed to think what he thinks about how certain people who have never been in the NBA shouldn't talk about him. And I'm allowed to think what I think about how I've seen people in the NBA who don't know what they're talking about and people who aren't in the NBA who do know what they're talking about. I think, like I've, like I've just said. <laughs> how can you tell somebody who played the league they don't know what they're talking about? Because how can you tell somebody who actually did it? They don't because, know because they about. say stupid things, and this is why I just well, no, 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 no. But how does I don't it need to because you've never been there. How because, does it make it yeah, and once again, once again, you this, have is this is why, why this, this is why this is why I don't this is why I don't point to my credentials because if people will listen to me simply because of where I've been and what I've done, not because of the actual things I'm saying. I don't want that to be the case. That's why I've never no, spoken people, about people. That's the reason why people respect you. The That's why I've never spoken about you. anything I've gone through when it comes to sports. Because I don't want people to be like, like, like oh, I agree with Mark because he's played sports, sports at this high of a level. I want people to agree with me because what I'm saying actually makes sense. NBA players say the most dumb things all the time and people will listen to them because, <laughs> oh, they played in the league. I don't want that to be the case with me. So what I do is I just say, oh, I've never played sports a day in my life. 
I'm still so we have years computer old, nerds saying that NBA players don't know what they talk about. Get, yet, huh? Call me a computer nerd. We, 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 we get computer. We get computer. Ticket. Get, ticket. Anthony Edwards said KD is the greatest player to ever exist. Explain to me how we should listen to you over him. I'm going to tell you why. Hold on. Let me explain it to you right now. And I'm going to tell you why he was being real and what he said. He was being real and what he said because Anthony Edwards is how old, sir? 21. So that's who he saw. So Anthony Edwards is only talking about who he saw. Okay, so I learned. Okay, I used to so look at the younger players and say, well, did, what are they talking about? And when I thought, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mars. Explain when how I thought about LeBron it, James. I looked explain at it and said, LeBron James. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because everybody doesn't see things through the lenses as guys like you who don't play. Guys who really out there in the court. He really out there in the field. He really had to guard both of these guys. He really got to play against both of these guys. He really grew up and watched both of those guys. So when you have younger guys that say younger guys are the greatest players they ever seen, I stopped thinking that was a problem because when I used my mind and thought about it, I said, well, those are the guys they watched growing up. The same way that Dr. J has a whole different top five list than guys like Mike. I mean, guys like Kobe and those guys and then other guys like LeBron and these guys because he watched other guys growing up. You're proving my point. You're literally saying you listen to him because he's in the league. Not because of what he's actually saying, but because he's in the league, you give his opinion more credibility than someone who's not. No matter how dumb what he actually says is. Yeah, but because I'm never he's going, been I'm never through it. to take away the credibility. Because he's been I'm through never it all of a sudden, say, no matter how dumb the thing he that's says like is, it's perfectly like fine. Some kid Me personally, start shit. if someone that's says like something some dumb, dumb, I don't care if they're the biggest genius in the world or they're the biggest idiot. If you say something dumb, I'm going to call what you said dumb. If you say something smart, I don't care if you're no, the greatest what makes it dumb? Time, you or you've never played basketball in your life. I'm going to listen to what's what smart makes it dumb? what's not smart, regardless of who it comes from. I don't care who says what. If it's smart, what makes it dumb? Hold on. What makes it dumb? Because you said it. Who made the rules that say that make it dumb? Because you said it. Because you said um, so. An NBA player, what he said is dumb. Because you said so. Everyone on the planet knows that Kevin Durant is not the best basketball player to ever exist. That's what.